World of HVAC has been a YouTube channel for two years now, and if you've been following me for that long, you'll notice that this has been the background for pretty much all of the videos. But we grow, we try and get better, and honestly, this background is not working anymore. Because over here, you see this shelf. Yeah, that shelf, it, it looks horrible in videos. And everything looks super dark, it's all super cluttered. I can't go back towards the wall as far as I'd like to in order to set a bench in front of myself. This is honestly kind of getting in the way. So I'm going to redo everything that is the World of HVAC backdrop. So here's the game plan. The cooler storage up here that's on top of this shelf, that's going to stay. The supports on the side, that's going to go. The pegboard is going to go and this is going to turn into a fold down workbench. Everything that's under there is going to get moved to the storage shed that I have in my backyard. And that's going to be pretty much it for the overhaul with the workbench itself. So it'll fold back up and I'll be able to use that in the future. I'm going to build some legs. I got a pretty cool idea. My little shelf right here, this actually came in a two pack on Amazon. So I'm going to mount that to the wall behind the pegboard and I'm gonna put the other one right here. I'm gonna put the battery chargers, I'm gonna rig something up. And then of course the World of HVAC banner, that is going to mount to the wall itself. So the colored wall is going to surround World of HVAC, the banner, and it's gonna surround these tool holder storage things. And it's gonna look a little bit better in the final video. Of course, kids like bubble wrap. This shelf right here has been the bane of my existence. It looks horrible in videos. So this whole thing is going to go. Everything that's in there, except for the generator, is now going to go into this large utility cabinet. So that is the game plan going forward. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a camera, record pretty much everything, fast forward the entire thing, and do a voiceover. It's going to be a nice video just showing the evolution of the world of HVAC YouTube channel and the background that now no longer suits my needs. And like every good spring cleaning, you end up taking a whole bunch of stuff that you thought you needed and just chucking it out the window. Like a ton of this stuff, I was able to, hey, let me take the time and go through all of these little products I have and actually put back what I need. And so a lot of this stuff got chucked, which was perfectly fine. So when I measured the entire thing, I failed to see one crucial part coming out of my well is a faucet. 35 inches will put this right at the slab all the way over to this pipe and it'll fit nicely. Here's the problem. That will have to go inside of the new one. So I'm just going to have to cut a hole into my new shelves and make it work. Fun times. Okay, I'm going to be brutally honest about this garage cabinet. I bought it because Lowe's didn't have the nicer one with the fancier plastic on the front with all the holes on it. It looked good. It was only, it was like 50 bucks more. They didn't have it in stock, but I wanted it today, so I bought this one. This thing is flimsy until you put the shelves in it, and then it's actually pretty decent. But it is a pain to put together. Well, the bottom is in. The water is through. It's not perfect, but it's a garage. Works for me. The instructions honestly make no sense. A lot of these pieces have really rough edges of plastic that you kind of needed to cut off, but I didn't really did. I just kind of forced it in there, kind of like my hand was a hammer. I don't recommend buying this one. Buy the one that was like $50 more or one of the Gladiator brands that they have at any of the other, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's. Just get something a little bit nicer. This one's going to work for me. I just don't recommend it. And uh, luckily you didn't have to buy, you didn't have to spend 200 bucks to find out that it kind of sucks. We are done. I put the shelves in, would have been too hard to film, but this is done. Water's taken care of. Closes, sort of. It is cheap. This one was only 200 bucks and I bought it at Lowe's. So if you want it, then that's where I got it. But it will look good if I am right here looking at the camera and this is off to the side. You won't see all the stuff I have my, for my own home. Like that will be hidden in there. If we could just focus on content. And uh, now the workbench is a wreck. Um, I'm going to come back tomorrow, probably work on that, start dismantling all the walls, and uh, call it a day. But For now, this project is done. Let me show you all the stuff I had to pull out. The generator, all of this stuff needs to go back in. So I'll take care of that. This will be done. We'll move on to there. 
And ever since I was in high school watching YouTube videos of people working on cars and just working on cars in my driveway, I always wanted a garage and a workbench that I can do all that cool stuff you know, as I, when I became an adult and I was able to buy my own home, that was my goal. And I had my goal. I had a garage. I could work on my golf cart. I worked on my trucks. I worked, you know, all the stuff I wanted to do. And I built a workbench. I had it all. But, you know, times change and you got to adapt with it. And that's just part of growing up. And it's weird to see that this is part of growing up. It's just me taking something that I enjoyed. I wanted for so long and changing it. Okay, the Yeti shelf is officially done. It is supported by... Braces in the attic. Let me go show you how I built those. I basically sent threaded rods straight through the attic and just got a nut on all four corners. Hey, Kit Kat. And in the attic next to my wife's Amazon box collection, because we, she believes we will have enough money to move one day, I have braces that I installed with deck screws and I just drilled a hole through them and bolted them up top on both sides. One up there and one over there. Well, it supports it like I thought it would, and it looks great. So on to the bottom section. Let's tear this out, get to the wall, clean it up. Spiders didn't like the wall. It's kind of funny looking at how much wood I have right here, but remember this was built in 2018 when wood was extremely cheap. So I think this entire bench cost like 300 bucks back then with everything that we bought to use for it. All of this wood is not going to waste. I am going to use a lot of it to build a shelf in the garage to store most of the stuff that I had on the bottom part of the uh, bench, but I still need in the garage. I don't want to put it in the back shelf. So I'm going to build another shelf to house all of that stuff and uh, make it accessible for, I don't know, building whatever my wife wants in the future. So here we are. This is the entire workbench taken apart, all the way to the floor. And everything is just destroyed. My entire garage is annihilated. Because of a storm yesterday, I wasn't able to get the brackets in. Amazon said, no, we're just gonna make it two days away. So thank you for that, Amazon. But I'm going to get wall mount brackets that hold up a total of 550 pounds, which I don't plan on ever getting that high on weight scale on a bench. But they're gonna mount onto the wall and then they're gonna fold down. So I'm gonna take one of these pieces of wood and I'm going to cut it, install it, make it nice and level. So then I can actually come backwards towards the wall, give myself a broader viewing area for the camera. And if I need a workbench, I can lift it up and it is, it'll lock in place and be nice. I also plan on getting one of those husky, uh, like telescopic or whatever, it goes up and down uh, benches in order to set products on or do work for in front of me so that it looks nice and pretty, it looks better for the camera instead of trying to film over the camera on a workbench, it just was never working right. So this is gonna be much better. Sorry the camera was not on when I hung the two tool shelves and I hung the banner, but this is what it looks like now. Over here we have this wall mount shelf with a couple of power tools, my kicker radio, which I'm definitely gonna leave in here because I love some tunes, the banner, which is now on the color of the wall. So it's not just pure black all the way around. I took the light down, it wasn't fitting up there, so I might set it up to be like a constant up and down. Over here, I have the other wall mount tool holder. It's got pretty much stuff that I don't keep on the work truck. Uh, so it just kind of stays out here and looks pretty. I also picked up this bad boy. This is a Husky table. You probably saw it at Home Depot. It is a nice finish. A couple of drawers. I think I'm gonna keep utility blades, a couple of things like that, pens but it goes up and down. That's what I wanted it for. Rise up and down. So, so now when I am do talking about tools, they will be right here in front of me instead of lower on that DeWalt table I was using for years. So it'll be nice and clean, set up a tripod and actually have it, you know, a little bit of, you'll be at a distance, I'll be tucked back here, a little bit closer, the whole, background will look a lot prettier. I do, however, have one more job that I need to finish in this area. This spot right here, I still want to have a bench on the wall. These right here are collapsible wall brackets, the ones that I ordered that are supposedly supposed to hold up about 550 pounds. So I'm going to find some studs, I'm going to cut the old workbench to fit that and uh, get that mounted 
have it all look nice and pretty. So this bracket is pretty cool. It's got an eight inch bar that mounts to the wall, which has a 90 degrees from that. It actually has a 20 inch out bar that you screw the table into from the bottom. It supposedly holds 550 pounds. I will not be trying to find that one out. That would suck if it did not. But uh, it came with those stupid concrete anchors, those little plastic things. I'm like, yeah, I'm not holding up any weight in that with She-Rock. And I wouldn't even trust the toggle ball for that. So I actually found the studs. They're not actually, like, perfectly centered or off of center a certain distance on the table. I just found the studs, which I thought were in a good area to support the table, and then mounted the uh, bracket to the stud on that so that I can actually rely on a nice brace on the wall instead of... A toggle bolt which would hold the most weight but I'm not trusting it for that so the folding bracket bench is complete I need to add a little bit of a middle support maybe I'll get a piece of strut a shallow strut and put it right there but see how this works <laughs> oh dude that fits so tight to the wall check this out so here it is on the wall look at that that is tight. That is an entire workbench. Let's pick it up. Dude, it doesn't get much easier than that. That is just... That is awesome. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. And now I present to you the new World of HVAC Studio. I have the folding bench exactly how I wanted. I have the moving telescopic up and down bench for anything else like a testing I can actually put it right here in front of me and it actually looks better instead of me reaching over the camera it's gonna be game-changing I do plan on putting lights in this cooler storage area so the backdrop will actually be lit up so but not white it's gonna be like blue or red or something like that it's gonna end up looking cool hopefully uh, but yeah it looks awesome let me let you know what it, let me show you what it looks like it now takes up way less room in my garage Coolers are hung. This looks so cool. I mean, look how much room. This is, this is like, God, this looks so good on the wall. And that's an entire bench. That is the original bench that I had here. That looks good. I have way more walk room right here. We're going camping tomorrow. That's the cover for the camper. I might look at uh, redoing the heat press for the hats and the heat press for the beanies. If you want it, then, uh, Etsy shop and bio, I can make whatever we want. It's pretty cool. I might redo this area and make it a little bit cleaner. Um, but yeah, this is, this is it. This is so freaking cool. I am so happy. So coming soon, new studio, new videos. Welcome to 2024. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll see y'all there. Thank you for watching.